This one effect you'll master by the end of this video is my secret sauce when it comes to creating all of my aesthetic Instagram reels in Adobe Premiere Pro. This effect is literally the baseline of zooms, text animations, motion blur, every single thing just in one effect. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Torsten Rothko. I create digital assets for short form content creators just like you. They streamline your entire video editing asset all inside Premiere Pro. So you're editing videos just like these on screen right now in just minutes like I do and thousands of other creators. I'll leave those down in the first link in the description so you don't miss out. And without further ado, let me show you this one effect. It's just, oh, <laughs> yo, boss. <laughs> All right, so this one effect, like I said, makes zooms, it makes text animations, every single thing, and it is the transform effect. This is your baby. This sh should be the first effect that I think every single person needs to master and use 24 seven. Before we get into everything, I wanna show you quickly what's the difference between using transform and not using transform. So I have this, this, whoa. I have this text come up. You can see that it has a nice kind of added motion blur when it comes up. Now this makes a huge difference. Let me show you what it looks like if you don't use the transform effect and use the shutter angle that's in that instead of just using the regular vector motion, which a lot of people do use. Now you can see that this just comes up. It looks terrible. It looks absolutely trash. If you're using this. I'm sorry. I don't mean to like shit on you, but it just, it, it is what it is. I'm glad you found me and found this because I'm going to, I'm going to change your life. I'm, I am. It's what I'm here to do. Thank me later. So I'm gonna, all you have to do to add the transform effect is search up the transform effect. So transform, I have my own preset. The reason why I have that is because you'll see in just a second. So once you drag and drop this, so I will just drag and drop mine, just like so. Come into the effects control and you can see that my transform, the reason why I have mine as my own preset is because the shutter angle is the most important factor of the transform effect. Yours is gonna be like this. It's gonna be use composition, just uncheck this, crank it to 360. Doesn't matter about the sampling. I use binary. I don't know what the difference is, to be honest with you. No one looks at that effect all everyone cares about is the shutter angle crank that all the way up that's what's giving you the motion blur now when we use it like i said it looks like this it has that nice kind of effect same with if i come over here you can see that we are using a zoom now when the zoom works it works super duper well i love using the zooms and it adds a really smooth, smooth shutter angle to it. So I'm gonna crank that baby on. So just like this, you can have a nice clean zoom. So now you can see that the transform effect not only works on moving text and everything like that and layers in general, but it also makes zooms so crisp and smooth. It adds this nice kind of smooth blur effect that you will only see when you're using the transform effect and shutter. Now, if I turn that off, like we did before, you can see that there, this zoom just, uh, like it looks so bad, it looks so bad. It doesn't compare. It literally does not compare to how good and smooth this looks. So much smoother. And that is the power of the transform effect. Now, let me show you just some simple, easy transform effect effects that I do like this zoom. And then I'll also do that text animation for you guys for absolutely free. The way I do that, and I'll teach you all of the velocity because velocity is super duper important. I'll show you that in a second. It just gives everything the super like good ramps and everything like that you'll see right here. Let's start from scratch by searching up your transform. I'm gonna drag in mine that already has the layer done to it, but make sure to just come down to here, shutter angle, crank that baby 360, uncheck that. So we're just gonna make a suit, my, my or actually we're gonna make my signature zoom. So we're gonna add the signature zoom. It doesn't matter if you were in an adjustment layer or on this, I just use adjustment layers. I always actually, here's a quick tip. Always use adjustment layers when you're doing zooms because then if you have text like over here, the zoom actually applies to the text also and not just the background layer it makes everything look super duper clutch. So this is what we do. We're making a simple zoom, come to the first. So go all the way to the left, go drag this little key head to the left, hit the scale. We're gonna scale this in at 150. So 50, just like so. We're gonna go, I don't know, just drag it until it looks pretty good. Like just a little gap. We're gonna mess with it. And then just hit this reset parameter. So now we have this cool zoom out. 
it's like slow, it's bogus, that's why it's bad. That's why we use velocity like I'm gonna show you right now. So highlight both of these, right click, ease in, and also do an ease out. Click down to this little carrot. Now it's gonna show you velocity. Here's the goaded. All you have to do is just grab this right one, bring it to the left, make sure this doesn't move up and down, try to get it as parallel as possible. I don't know why Premiere Pro doesn't just have a key bind where if you hold it, it doesn't move. It's fucking Premiere Pro, bro. So <laughs> just drag it to the left, and now you have my exact signature zoom I use in all my Instagram reels. So it just looks like this. Looks like that comes in a little too slow, so I'll just bring it to the left a little more. I'm liking that. And then another thing, if you wanna go an extra mile, like we always do in this channel, I always go to the last frame of this clip or how long your adjustment layer is, wherever, how long you want it. And then I just zoom in like 110 or 115. Depends on how zoom in your clip is. But now we have this zoom in just a little not, not, it doesn't take that long. But I mean, if you're doing this 24 seven, it is a huge time waster. I don't rec recommend that at all. Now we get this and boom. Now, if you don't wanna take that time every single time of doing that, I get it. That's why I made zoom presets for you guys. You guys can use the exact same ones. I just come over to my zoom presets. Instead of doing that every single time, I just come over here, grab my signature zoom, drag, drop, boom, I'm done. Sometimes you gotta adjust it. Not everything's perfect. Boom, done. You can find those down in the link in the description. Huge time saver, thousands of other creators use them. Big recommendation, these are a must have when it comes to video editing. They're simple, drag and drop. They're so easy that all you need to know is if you can move your mouse, you can use these. That's how easy they are. And a little bit of basic knowledge in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the next effect I'm gonna show you is this really cool effect that this is actually my preset, but I'm gonna show you how I made it. So I'm just gonna delete these. I'm gonna delete the preset that's on it for right now. So this is my slide up. Like I said, if you don't wanna create this, you can just come into the text animation slide ups, grab the text and logo animations pack and just Actually, that was a logo animation preset. So just grab the slide and up Mastermind and it's slide. What the fuck? Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> now it does. Slide up just like so. You can do slide in down. There's so many, there's a lot of different effects. There's rounded corners, bunch of effects. So to make this effect, we are going to come up to transform. Again, search up your transform. Drag and drop it, make sure that this is not, and then come over to the left. And all I want to do is keyframe. So make a keyframe just like so. Don't do anything, go to the right. Or actually, yes, we need to do something, sorry. <laughs> we need to make this one like crazy down. So bring it all the way down, just so that you can't see it. So like, that's good. Go a few frames forward, reset again. And now we have this. Again, not too good. That's why we need to right click, temporal impolation, ease in and out, make sure to always do out. So then you get an even kind of basis of where these both are. Just grab the right one and now these just, it can come like that or you can grab this left one and it like ramps just like that. You wanna make it like this. I would just do like this, maybe a little bit to the left, right? Like that, so it just like comes in up like that and boom, just boom done easy and that is the transform effect you can use this effect for so many occasions and this is why i use this effect 24 7 because it is the root and it adds that special spice slash motion blur that no other effect adds and it's so versatile if you want to learn more about short form video editing and edit exactly like me go check out this tutorial where i break down exactly how i edited this reel in just a few simple clicks and make sure to share this video with just one of your friends and i'll catch you in the next video peace